We're on the road again. John can't speak right now, can you, dude? There's no laundry facilities anywhere near here. Which is funny, because I don't have any keys. And they better blooming have a working washing machine. So the washing machine's broken at that campsite. You're going to have to move on the phone. He told me that, yes, they've got a washing machine. I did it, I did it. Hello. Who are you? Hello. <laughs> it's become an obsession. Well, good morning, everyone. So we are in yet another beautiful spot just outside of Couture. We found on Park for Night a nice little roadside stop. So no facilities here, so we're gonna head off to a campsite later. But we are on missions today. We are going back into the old town because I need to go to a bank. I've got to exchange some money because we're running out. And I'm gonna try and say this quickly before these speedboats come along. Of course, we'll be visiting the cats again because we have to, it's the rules. Then after that, we've got to go get some fuel for the van. We've got to go shop into a supermarket and resupply because we're running out on nearly everything. And then I'm going to head to uh, Budva, which is a town, a coastal town, not too far from here, which is apparently stunning. But we're not actually going to go into Budva today. I'm going to head for a campsite slightly north of there at Jazz Beach, where they've got a washing machine, which is the main reason for me. There's a beach for John to go and do his thing but they've got washing machines. I have got to catch up on laundry and I'd probably like to sit down and get on with some editing because uh, I haven't done a lot of editing recently and I've run out of stuff. There's normally a video on YouTube backed up, ready to go live the following week and I've run out. So I'll have to hurry up and get something up, won't I? Oh, look what we found. <laughs> Does that mean we don't have to go to the city to see the other cats? Oh, I saw us the cats, but you know. <laughs> this one's very friendly. Right, I was up earlier than the kids. I've been busying myself around the van. I'm feeling quite sweaty. So I've decided I'm jumping in here. I've seen a few other people jumping in, so screw it, I'm doing it. And believe it or not, he doesn't want to jump in with me, which is just bonkers. I'm going in when he's not going in. I can't believe it. Okay, I'm sure it's going to be quite cold, but I have to do this. I have to do this. Amazing. It's actually not as cold as I thought. Oh, that's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, <laughs> needed that big time. <laughs> now, the only problem is I can't reach that ladder, so I'll have to jump to that one. <laughs> oh, that's the best. Right, any chance I get, I'm doing that every morning. That was blooming so needed. Fantastic. It's just saying goodbye to the cat, and we're gonna head back to the old town, get some money and the cats and all the stuff I told you earlier. You don't need to see it, you've been there already. So we're just gonna see you somewhere out on the way after we've been shopping uh, and we're on our way to the new campsite. Goodbye, pussycat. You're going to have to move. Yes, you're going to have to move. I need to move the van. Is this okay? Right, are we ready to leave? Yeah. No. Because someone doesn't want us to go. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> It's just sat there staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> So we just called in at that campsite we were heading for and they don't have washing machines anymore, which was the whole point. So I'm not spending 30 euros on a campsite if they don't have washing machines. So we're trying to come up with a new plan. So we decided the only solution was to turn around and come back the way we came. We couldn't find a campsite with a washing machine and everything else around there just didn't feel, I don't know, it just didn't feel nice. We were so happy back up here near the fjord that we've driven back this way, but to a different town. We've come to Tivat and we found another beautiful little campsite with toilets, facilities. It goes right onto a beach out here. I'll show you in a minute. But as you can see, there's Ella getting ready for a swim over there. Actually, she's hiding behind the chairs. It's so hot, I'm gonna to have to go and get in the water. But it's this beautiful little shady area. Really, really nice. And then if I follow you, if you follow me through here, I'll show you where John is. So we go through this little gate. There's a really cute little 
really cute little bar where we might get some drinks later. And then it's sort of same little beach. And as you can see, John is already out there cooling off. And I'm going to go and join him. So that swim was just exactly what we needed, all very refreshed. And now we've whipped up a, a very quick pasta and sauce. We like a bit of that, don't we, Al? Is that a yes? Yes. <laughs> and some nice bread from the supermarket and cheese. All good. Much needed, much needed. Ah, so we're gonna chill out soon. There's not much else to do. We might have a little walk through to that beach bar and see what's going on. Maybe we can get a drink before we go to bed. We shall see. So we've come down to the beach to enjoy the last of the sunset. I wish we'd come earlier now. It's beautiful. Maybe we'll stay another night here. We don't know. And we can catch one. Catch another one. Oh, not again. So this is absolutely lovely. <laughs> Just sat on the beach with a little bottle of Coke, haven't we, Al? Looking out at this glorious sunset together. Beautiful. And the ladies just told us the dolphins were passing again just out there. Good morning, everyone. We have woken up in this spectacular place. Elle's with me. We just crawled out of bed, haven't we, Elle? Uh. That's why she just says, eh. Uh. That's all she has. A little cup of tea. Look at this. So these lucky people who own this place, that's their house. You see behind me? Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, there's some sort of boatyard over there. It does yacht repairs. A bit industrial, but this house is just stunning. And uh, just looks onto this. And then their back garden over there is where they park the camper vans. So it's just, it was obviously a big garden that they don't use and they just let camper vans in for 20 euros a night. Can't go wrong. And they've got their little beach bar down there where we sat and had our drink last night with the sunset, which was beautiful. Anyway, as much as we probably would like to stay here, there's no laundry facilities anywhere near here. Oops, sorry, I'll turn around and get the sun. There's no laundry facilities anywhere near here, so I found a place 10 minutes up the road, another little campsite, and I think what I'm gonna do is make a move up there, and they apparently have a washing machine. Right, we're loading up. It's time to move on. Uh, we would be lost without this uh, roof box. It's a godsend, I can't believe we managed years before without it, but we've got so much stuff up in here. <laughs> oh. Bittersweet. It's nice to move on and get things done that we need, we need to get done, like the laundry. But it's such a beautiful place and we're not going to turn around and come back to it, really. We're uh, kind of slowly migrating back towards Croatia and we're going to start making our way up the coast there over this coming week. So yeah, but it's for the future. In the future, we're gonna have a bigger van, we're gonna come for longer, and it's gonna be amazing. Promise, it is, it is. We're on the road again. So pretty down here. What a funny little track to get down, to get to this house. Okay, the next place is only 10 minutes down the road, and they better blooming have a working washing machine. Yeah. Then I can relax again and go back to holiday dad rather than laundry dad it's become an obsession we've just had a very quick stop at a supermarket because we've just realized it's sunday tomorrow and everything is shut here on a sunday got to remember that so we've got some bits and bats to get us through tomorrow but look at that, look through the window out there where we're driving. That just does not get old. That never gets old. Oh, and we're flying alongside a kingfisher. There's no way you'll be able to see that on the camera. Come on. Yeah. This is it. So you can get down and across to the water, but I don't care. It's all about washing the shoes. Here we are. Man in pants. Man in pants. Always good. So the washing machine's broken at that campsite. <laughs> the only one for miles around and it's not working. So we're not staying there because it was up on a hillside, not near the water. So that's no use for John. He's gonna explode if he doesn't get to swim. We could even sleep here if we really want, but we quite like to get to a campsite with a shower and stuff, but nothing really matters. So what we've done is we've pulled over and we're gonna have a swim right here. 
Because why wouldn't you? Look at that. I'm going in. I'm going in with him. Right. This is a GoPro I'm using to record. It's a GoPro 11, which is apparently waterproof down at 10 meters. This is terrifying. For those of you that know, there's this light. I used to be in the underwater camera sort of business, and back in those days, you never took a camera in the water without a proper waterproof housing around it. I'm very, very skeptical about putting this thing in the water. Let's give it a go, shall we? Should we just do it? Should we just do it? Yeah! Should we just do it? No! <laughs> Found it. That was so refreshing. John and I had a really, really fantastic little snorkel there. I think that's the best snorkeling we've done around here, isn't it, John? What do you think? Uh, yeah, it was really good. I liked it a lot. And John's getting really, really good at uh, his free diving, holding his breath and going down for a bit longer, aren't you, dude? Mm -hmm. John's eating a biscuit, aren't you, dude? Mm -hmm. John can't speak right now, can you, dude? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was fantastic. Really loved it. Okay, I've made a phone call to a place that is just across the water there which means we all have to take the ferry and they have got a washing machine he says on the phone he told me they've yes they've got a washing machine and it sounds like a nice area there's apparently a bit of a promenade some restaurants some shops around so yeah we're gonna head over there okay there's the ferry i don't know how this works let's see if we can figure it out Fifty cents. Okay. Ten euros and fifty cents. some stuff in the laundry yes this has got a working laundry lovely family that are operating the place it feels more like a, a campsite like we think of campsites back in England um, <laughs> a bit more developed should I say a bit more modernized um, but cute as well at the same time and then it comes down you walk through you can see the motorhomes behind me maybe you walk down through here and we're onto this so we've got a tiny weeny little private beach here Otherwise, it's a concrete pier, which John's got no problem jumping off. So yeah, we might even spend a couple of nights here because it's got a promenade that walk goes down that way. Apparently there's restaurants and shops and things. And tomorrow's Sunday. It's a day of rest here, relaxation, nothing's open. So I might just make sure all my laundry is done and dry. So yeah. Hello, the L. Show us what you've been doing, please. Okay. So while John and I have been snorkeling, Ella has been creating a 
that's only Ella knows how to do. Let's have a look at this one. Look at that. Amazing. And the other one? I like the other ones as well, but I like them all. Look at these. Little masterpieces. And this one here, that's one of my favourites though. Look at that. You're so clever! Okay, laundry load number two is on the go. You have no idea how relaxed and happy this makes me. Claire, Sailing Rumour, if you're watching, I know you get it. I know you feel it. I know you get it. I saw a huge swarm of these yellow white striped fish. They were massive, like this big. They were they swam all along here, over to there somewhere. And yeah, they were huge. And I could see it all. So as you can see, John is really, really getting into his snorkeling. So as it turns out, John wants to do a John Cam. But a John Cam is going to consist of nothing but John with a mask on his face and a snorkel in his mouth underwater. So I'm going to go and prep the camera for him now. Passing you on, John Cam. Hello. That sea urchin I just showed you was Jerry, my friend. I don't have much to show you. I'm gonna take a cool shot, hopefully. Well, good morning all. John has just disappeared down there to go in the sea. What a surprise. Um, I've got two loads of laundry done at this beautiful campsite. I'm gonna do one more today. So we're gonna stick around for another night and just relax and enjoy. I've got some editing to do. Right now though, Ella is going to learn how to put the beds away because she hasn't done it before, have you? Right, I'll help you from the back here. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Right, just pull that one out and then you can slide the bed away and then you can do everything easier. I'm really making this hard for myself. You're making it look harder than it is, let's put it that way. It's not hard. I try to show off how this camper van is a really quick, easy conversion. You're making it look difficult. You're making me look bad, Al. <laughs> Go on, push it in. I'm making myself look bad. <laughs> there you go, and you can shove that big cushion back underneath. And she did it, look at that. Yay. The little L did it. Now we've got a sofa for the day. So like I say, we don't need to put Ella's bed away because we, you know, we're in a sunny country. We just live out here, it's not raining. So yes, this is my new office, guys. This is it. I've done editing at Grandma's house on the way down. This is the first time I'm editing from the van, from a campsite. And just look at it, it's beautiful. It's sat under the trees and the sunshine, it's warm. Ella's been sat next to me doing her art, but obviously she's behind the camera right now. Hi, Elle. I'm working on our video where we drive across Italy, um, but we are right now sat in Montenegro, of course. So yeah, you'll have seen that one by now, a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago. Old news to you. 
Hello. I'm gonna do some Ella Cam. Got a cat with me for support. And now I'm gonna be talking about stuff. Just random stuff, I guess. Speaking of cats, we went to Gator. It's Gator. Uh, the old town. There's a bunch of cats there. There's like a billion of them though. I swear, they're everywhere. It's insane. They were all so friendly, like most of them anyway. It's been really great actually. You know, we've been hanging out with the Sin Luma. You already know that and all that stuff. You know, going to the tour with them and all that. In Montenegro. Just kind of been hanging out. I mean, they're gone now, sadly. I've kind of started a bit of a collection. Well, I, I hope to start. So, I wanted to start a pin collection, like a pin, I don't know what they're called, badgy thing, like a pin that you stick onto your shirt and stuff, you wanted to start a collection. I wanted to start a collection of keychains, which is funny because I don't have any keys. Look at these, Montenegro, put in focus. I think that's kind of it, oh, and I'm wandering around the camera a bit much, probably should have sit, sat down for this, <laughs> who cares. Oh. It's kind of it. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Hello folks. Today's been a bit of a non-filming day because I've just been editing all day and the kids were hanging out, but uh, it seems the British family, well, Australian British family, have arrived on site, so the kids have got a couple of people to play with. What's going on around here? Hello. Who are you? Hello. <laughs> who's, who's this? <laughs> no, seriously, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> Oh my god, Sorry, I'm sorry. Your brain cell is being destroyed. Your memory is so bad. You having fun? Yes. Yeah. The, one, the ones that were down there by that gate, you know the ones everyone keeps feeding? They were just out, running around, fighting. We're still here. We haven't gone anywhere. This seems to be happening more and more. I thought we'd be moving around a lot and staying at the side of the road and moving on, but do you know what? It's just too nice. It's lovely here. The sun's out, the sea is blue. Ella's happily sat arting, aren't you well? <laughs> and we were gonna leave two days ago and I said, can we stay one more day so I can get on with some editing work? And the kids are like, oh, all right then. And then that following day, a British family arrived, or well, Australian British family arrived, and we've got to know them. So John has got two young lads to play with, and Ella's playing with them yesterday as well. And last night they were begging me, please can we stay one more day, one more day? And I was like, well, all right then, it doesn't really matter. We can do what we want, can't we? We're making it up as we go along. So yeah, Ella's here arting, and John is down fishing. I'll go and show you. How's it going, guys? Oh, and John's having a go at crabbing as well, are you, dude? Any luck? No. We're taking a little walk with our new friends, uh, looking for ice cream. We're on an ice cream mission, because uh, it's been a few days since we've had ice cream, and that's just not on. We're going to end the video right there folks. John and I are taking one last little stroll along the seafront here before we uh, leave and head off to Croatia, but that's the next video for you next week. We're going to be making our way up the coast, we're going to head to Dubrovnik today, have a look around the walled city and uh, then we're going to head up the coast and find a place to camp up for the night. John is just saying goodbye to Mr Bigglesworth who's the resident kitten who decided we were his family, but uh, he's back there with his real family at the moment, so yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next one, bye bye. Bye bye Mr. Bigglesworth.